Hello, beloved of God. This is Mike Johnson, pastor of Love Rising Lutheran Church. And we have been on a journey during the season of Pentecost uh, with the Holy Spirit around our theme, Ignite My Heart with Holy Spirit Power. And so uh, today we have our fifth and final installment of this series. Uh, and our text for the day is um, with Paul in the book of Romans. Uh, I would like to take you to Romans 5, verses 1 through 5. That's Romans 5, verses 1 through 5. And I just want to read for you the fifth verse that says, And hope does not disappoint us, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. Amen. <laughs> well, I mean, that one almost sums up our whole series, but um, just want to take a couple of minutes to um, kick it with you uh, about this passage. Um, we sent the questions um, with this video that'll come out, but um, this passage is talking about God's incredible grace uh, that we have received through, as the text, the first verse says, that we are justified by faith. And so, uh, of course, justification is just the whole notion of our salvation that we have received by the grace of God through Christ Jesus. And I don't think there's a passage that better illustrates um, the whole notion of what we've been talking about this whole season about the Trinitarian nature of God, that God as the God the Father, the Creator, uh, God the Son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, or the one that we receive salvation from through the cross and resurrection act of Christ Jesus. And then finally, the, the third person of the, of the uh, Trinity, the Holy Spirit. And the way that in our triune God works together, lovingly together to, to um, provide salvation, love, forgiveness, justification, and grace for everything that we would try to do in the name of God. And so we have talked about um, uh, spiritual gifts. We have talked about um, God's power. We have talked about um, being born again. And all of these pieces are acts of God's grace. That I mean, we talk about spiritual gifts. We can name spiritual gifts, but God gives the gift. And we don't get to choose what gift we have. But, but even more difficult for us is I think the Holy Spirit is helping us to develop a lifestyle of faith. A lifestyle, a lifestyle of faith is something that we strive to do uh, every day, 24-7. The other thing um, about that grace is that this particular passage talks about our hope being built through suffering and our perseverance through suffering and how that suffering builds character. Well... It's amazing that in our society, in this capitalistic society, um, when we're talking about building character through suffering, we're almost always talking about people who live on the margins. We're almost always talking about women. We're always talking about the poor. We're always talking about our gay and lesbian uh, siblings. We're always talking about folks that are not considered people who are in the center of our society. I mean, when we're talking about building character through perseverance and suffering, we're not talking about the rich and the powerful. 
And I think that why can't they build character through suffering and perseverance? So perseverance is not just about the those who are already bearing the brunt of the pain of this society. It's about everybody. It's about uh, perseverance to build character, to fight um, your privilege, whether that's male privilege, whether that's straight privilege, uh, uh, whether that's the privilege uh, that those who have more than others have. I mean, we call that class um, in this society. And doesn't it take perseverance to fight those evils that are in us? But this text is telling us that the Holy Spirit is giving us hope by pouring love through the power of the Holy Spirit in our hearts. And so um, we live in a society where people are always talking about come get your blessings. And that's how people choose churches, not by where they can serve or where their gifts might be utilized in the community. But we choose churches based on what can that church do for me? How can that church bless me? And there are churches that sell that prosperity ethic to people in our community. Come get your blessings. Well, I think this text is telling us that God is pouring love into our hearts through the power of the Holy Spirit, which will give us hope to persevere through um, all that we see um, in terms of war and suffering and violence in this society, not so that we can see so much how much we can be blessed, but that we might be able to see how we might be a blessing in our society. Where can my gifts be better utilized? What church community or what, or what, what, um, institution doesn't have to be the church what institution um, can better use my gifts so that I might be a blessing because of the incredible um, power of God's incredible grace church also uh, the uh, in Romans 3.23, of course, in that famous uh, verse, Paul says that we have all fallen short of the glory of God. So that says all, an, an unqualified all. And so, yes, even the mighty and the powerful need God's grace. And those who um, have privilege need God's grace so that we might be able to work on how we can um, we can't give that privilege back I can't give back my male privilege but I can figure out how I can be an advocate for the women that my male privilege has oppressed um, and so amen uh, we hope that you have enjoyed walking with us for these five weeks as we, as we have talked about and prayed about uh, what God's word is saying to us about the Holy Spirit and how our hearts um, can be ignited through the power of the Holy Spirit um, and, and how God wants your heart. <laughs> And so um, let's give our hearts to God through God's power. Amen.